All right, all right. Welcome to the Coffee Bean Experience. <clears throat> My name is Jose. My name is Dave. And we are back at you for some more high energy, high paced, bam, bam, bam content. We're coming at you. So, Isaiah, you're pretty tired. You look pretty out of it. Why? It's a long story. Uncover your mouth and tell the story. It's a long story. So, uh, I just, I, I stayed Dude, up. they can't hear you when you're talking I down up, to your... I stayed up all night with my friend. He got to spend the night. We don't really let our kids spend the night. So I, I stayed up all night with him. So he stayed up all night with his friends. Doing what? What, what were you guys doing? Playing video games. What video games? Fortnite. Fortnite? <laughs> yeah. How yeah. much money have you spent on Fortnite? I don't want to talk about it. No, you have to. That's what, It's a talk show, bro. A lot of money. How much? Ballpark. We, so I have two accounts. One of them I <laughs> spent like $100 on, and the other one I spent like... Three hundred and fifty. Oh, more than that. You've spent more than that on Fortnite. You're lying to the. Why would you lie Maybe to the viewer? Maybe four hundred. I can pull it up, bro. I could. Mm hmm. I can. I can. I can. I can. Yeah. So you guys played Fortnite all night? Yeah. It's terrible. What time did you? What time did you get home? What did you guys eat breakfast? Did you? No, we didn't even eat breakfast. We literally played Fortnite and then we went to sleep at like. Uh. Six like forty, and then like woke up at like twelve. So maybe mm, no, mm -mm, it wasn't twelve. It was like eight, and then. What time did you get home? I don't even remember really. You don't uh, I got home at like one. I got home at one. No, I don't really remember like what happened specifically. It's all kind of a blur. It's all a blur. Yeah. So, um, hey, big day tomorrow. What's t what's tomorrow, man? Well, I get to go um, train with a PT. Yeah, physical therapist that trains professional soccer players. So and really so fun. hopefully we get a good idea where you're at, right? Yeah. And then, so that would be really cool. So we're going to give a shout out to, it's called uh, Tacoma, Washington. It's called Waterland Performance. It's uh, Dr. Eric Waterland. He's amazing. And he works with all kinds of athletes. It's kind of a specialty. He played college soccer, and he's just a good dude. So, um, pumped about that, right? Yeah, I'm really excited. I, I I'm tired, so I can't show up. But I'm really yeah. excited. And then um, also, um, 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 uh, we're going to uh, Seaside, Oregon. They can hear us just fine. Quit messing. Which will be it. really fun. Seaside, Oregon, y'all. If you haven't gotten out and about, um. You should get out and about and see your local region wherever you live. There's lots of opportunities, I promise you, no matter where you live. Could be freaking Wuhan, China. And I, actually, there's lots of things to see in Wuhan. I go see that lab that they produce coronavirus in. Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, so dude, then we're, so we're going to Seaside, Oregon. So down the Washington, Oregon coast. Seaside, if you're in the Pacific Northwest, the whole Pacific Northwest is just a gorgeous place to, to visit. Yeah, it really Especially is. in summer. There's just so much stuff you can do. So oh, my word. Yeah. Hiking, boating, canoeing, kayaking. Um, I mean, Seattle's looking pretty drab right now. It's all destroyed, and there's no business down there, right? Pike Place isn't open. So, um, but, dude, Seattle is not even the gym of the Northwest. I promise you that. No, it's not. So, I mean, it's fun. It's got its allure. Uh, but not now. I don't have no allure. I promise you that. So get out, come out, come visit us in the Northwest here. Um, we're going to be taking just a, just a couple two day trip, just an overnighter to Seaside, Oregon. So, and you should really go to Seaside in Cannon Beach, the Astoria, that part, that Northwest part of Oregon on the coast there. Just amazing. My wife and I took a bike ride, a motorcycle, boom, boom, boom. Dude, we took a motorcycle ride down the coast. Oh man, it's just gorgeous. So, um, so dude, I wanted to cover just, um, I wanted to cover just current news. Do you know what's going on? What, what today, tomorrow's a big day. 
It what's, starts what? What's, what does it start? I don't, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. You haven't been following the news? No, bro. You're usually pretty I political. Try to, I try not to follow the news too much right now, especially because, like... It's so negative? It's not just negative, but, like, it's just stupid. I can't. I, can, my, I can't do it. My, my head can't do it. Like, people, it's all the same stuff over yeah. and over and over and over. Yeah. Like so, some of the news highlights for you guys uh, out, outside of the country... Um, and actually, I'd be interested to hear, like even from around the United States, what you guys are hearing in your local news. So pretty much we still have the hot topics are, you know, Trump, media doesn't like Trump. And you got Biden who's gaining in the polls, but I think the polls are all a scam anyway. I think, I think they're a scam. Um, so I don't care about the polls. We'll see come election time. Um, Biden dude has serious mental issues and y'all should check that out. Go check out his video. Watch that dude talk. Yeah, bro. Um, I mean, even his YouTube ad. Oh my like, word. Have you seen that YouTube ad? He's like, I'm coming to you for. Yeah, like, dude. Like, he sounds like, drunk. Bro, I mean, if it's you're not gonna, okay. if you're gonna, if you're gonna give us an ad, like at least make it quality. Like, I mean, literally no, dude, they go mentally in. mentally unstable, dude. They dementia. go in and, and, and edit that. You could literally edit that to make it so. He doesn't sound retarded. I mean, yeah. at least do something. Try so pretty much, in, so pretty much in our news. So you see, you have that, but the main news still is you know Black Lives Matter statues being torn down now um, of all the slave owners. Oh, oh, oh! I did hear about this Black Lives. Uh, the Black Lives Matter movement said that if something, I don't remember who who was it. If they're not going to give them what they want, they're going to start burning down. Hawk Nelson, dude. Hawk Nelson, the. New York chapter Black Lives Matter leader said they're going to start burning down things if they don't get what they want. Um, He also said he wants black liberation, black liberation, follow me here. He wants black liberation and black sovereignty, no matter the cost. So I don't, I don't understand. What are you eating there, bro? The pills. Yeah, let me have some. The prescription. Yeah, I I, I, I know the same. There's too. Bro, don't lie to me, bro. This whole show will be about me trying Keep to get talking. that. Keep talking. Keep talking? No. I don't tell you. Give me the juice. I'm like a drug fiend, bro. Drug fiend. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Give me the loot. No, bro. I get three. Oh. All right. So, Hawk. New York chapter BLM. Says, we're burning the country down, bro. We better get black liberation. So my question on a serious note. I didn't know. I didn't know blacks were enslaved. Yeah. In the United States of America. Actually. I, Hold on. I don't know if they're enslaved anywhere in the world. I'm, I'm kind of lost. How could they be enslaved? They're no. out about destroying buildings and stuff. How could they be no, that's enslaved? That's not just black people destroying well, okay, buildings. Well, yeah, yeah, right, right. But that's all there's, colors. Okay, like, that's just anarchists. Black people, white people, Asian people, they're all out on the streets, guys. You can all see them protesting. So if they're enslaved, yeah, the how are they, on the, how are they <laughs> yeah. enslaved? Yeah. Explain that one, chief. That doesn't add up in my head. So, Shouldn't in yours. I don't know if you passed kindergarten. Yeah. So anyway, but today's big news today. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, not today. Tomorrow is big news in the state of Washington because our enlightened, omniscient, amazing governor Hensley, yeah, is. You know what he's what starts tomorrow? I don't. I'm not making this up. I don't know where you live. Our governor Hensley, in his great wisdom and foresight is requiring masks what starting tomorrow if you are in public to go into a store if you are even outside and you can't maintain six feet distance are you kidding me no wait are and you being serious oh, wait are you joking mm-hmm. i can't no, I'm tell not. but here's the kicker guys so it's one thing to say hey you guys should be wearing masks and i'm not going to get into the science medical I actually know a lot about yeah, it but I'm that's not. actually breaking that's actually unconstitutional because it's 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 freedom of choice. The people get to do what they want. What? It's my body, my you choice. You name the constitution, bro. If you're gonna say stuff like that, you better know it with me. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. It's not breaking the constitution, but it, yeah, that is. It's not. I think his emergency powers are breaking the constitution, and and 
the legislature needs to act on his emergency powers because that's how he's using all these emergency powers right now. It's emergency, pandemic, coronavirus. Um, but guess what? Guess what the consequences is if you're caught without a mask? What? I kid you not. Here's the kicker, guys, ladies and gentlemen, friends all over the world. You get a thousand dollar fine. What? Up, up to 90 days in jail. And it's a misdemeanor. It goes on your record. <gasps> For not wearing a mask? Yeah, bro. True story. Look it up. Go look it up. Google it, guys. Washington State, United States. Governor Inslee and his wisdom and fortitude. And he's such a great leader. I can't wait till November. He's got to get kicked out of there. He is so good. Look, 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 look. I know. I think it's. I think it's totally okay if like a business wants you to wear a mask. But yep. like, like it's that's private part of business. They can require that's part that. of capitalism. They can. They have the right to deny your business, and they have the right to actually to, for any reason. By yeah, the way, they don't have reason. to tell you. They no. can refuse Mm-mm. service to you. Yeah, they could here in the United States now. In the U.S., yeah. mm-hmm. we're not North Korea. They can do that. And 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 it's one thing if they if they ask you and you have to wear them in a store. Like I don't agree with that, but it's their business. They can do what they want. But to have the governor of our state. Require a mask? Well, he could require a mask. I, I don't have a problem with the requirement for a mask. I just think it should be required with no consequences. Yeah, now, someone might say someone might say, well, what's the point? Why why should because we're all growing a dollar sign dollar sign adults. Most of us are adults. And if we're and if and if and children have parents that are their adults. So if parents want their kids wearing masks to help out society you see what I'm saying? It's there job. doesn't have to be a penalty in a law. I mean, a penalty and a criminal charge for every dang law. Literally. It can just be, hey, listen, this is the law, and it could be frick. The consequence could be, I think our, I think actually our, our, um, uh, RCWs. It's um, regulation code of Washington State. The RCWs. I think there does have to be a consequence. The comp- comp- consequence could be a freaking verbal warning. Yeah. Why does it have to be so? Could be so ten bad. verbal warnings and then a ten dollar fine. I don't get that. And so, hello, check, check. Yeah, oh, we're we're not, no, we're not. That's scroll, not it. That's scroll not up, scroll That's up. Not, you better check. Down. It's good. Bro. Okay, it's still going. So, um, it it doesn't have to. This that's my problem, ladies and gentlemen. Is the misdemeanor thousand dollar fine up to ninety days in jail? Hey, hey, kudos to City of Lakewood. You, the city of Lakewood issued a statement yesterday when Governor Inslee freaking boneheaded. What are they politically like? What do they? Where do they stand? Our city of Lakewood. Yeah, there we have liberals too. Every, yeah. Well, right, but it, we're moderate. The city of Lakewood is moderate. Okay. Yeah. But so we issued a statement. The city of Lakewood issued a statement. The police chief issued a statement, mm-hmm. and he said we're not going to be enforcing it. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. I've been meaning to look up what Tacoma said. Um. But anyway, I, it's just asinine to me that. Well, that and not to mention, like, there's actually, um, there's actually so many studies to prove that, like, the statistics on um, the death, the death statistics of COVID have um, been inflated by, like, 30%. And um, you don't know percentage. Yeah. It? No. Yes. It's like 30%, dude. It's crazy. No, it's I've, extremely I've high, dude. Like. Well, you yeah, read some more. Like, um, Steve uh, louder with Crowder <laughs> just just made a change my mind about it. Go watch it. Um, plug whatever plug if you will whatever. Also another plug. Go 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 do it. Go help us because we're on one microphone right now. Because because <laughs> yeah, our other around. microphone is like I don't know. I gotta I gotta work on it. Just just you know you can go donate in the description below or just help Patreon. us out on Patreon. Either one works. Either one helps. Do we have any exclusive content on Patreon yet? What well, no. <laughs> So just don't know in the description below on uh, on uh, the coffee bean the coffee bean coffee bean North, coffee bean experience at north at northwest dot com something it's in the description below there's the a link there's a link there is a link in the description below you can click and you can donate and that helps a lot. So listen, you were going off about louder with Crowder is thirty percent. I'm saying. You, if you don't believe me about the statistics, and he, it was, uh, Louder Crowther is amazing. I love Louder Crowther because he lists not only, like, in an argument, especially most of the time when you're right, like in, in most scenarios for me, um, they always ask you to cite 
your statistics. And if you ask them vice versa, they will never do it. So I've stopped looking it up and showing them because it's a waste of my time. But Louder with Crowder, if you don't believe him, he has the actual statistics. He has the website listed. And they're all credible sources. So, but you, if you don't believe me, you so can what's go. what's your point? I'm just saying. That's that's where I got my, my, my evidence. Yeah, what's your point? Go check out Louder with Crowder. And and for what? What's the point? To, Why am I checking if you, it out? If you don't believe me, go check about it out. About what? About the statistics being 30% inflated. 30% inflated, the death rate? Yeah. Infection rate or death rate? Uh, death rate. Death rate. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the reality is um, we don't know enough about this virus. I think we should use common sense. Do you know why you wear masks? We talked about this. To protect um, everyone else from what you have. Yeah, because they think the, be- the the easiest way to transmit it is actually... Actually, they still say hands, like your hands do your face and blah, blah, blah. And so don't freaking pick your nose and eat it. <laughs> and um, um, don't like touch your face go wash your hands a lot but they do say that you wear the mask to s- stop spit particles from flying all over infecting everything Did hey I ordered uh, I ordered some cool masks yo what, 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 what's this design Is there American design? flag blacked out American Ooh, flag that's kind of cool you should get one um, there's one where it's like Trump's mouth and below? Oh, yeah. I've, I haven't seen Trump's. I, kinda I have that. seen Trump 2020 on a mask. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. Just, I don't know. Too bad you can't vote. You'd I don't want to get I don't want to get persecuted in public. <laughs> Dude, people get mad for that stuff. Bro. I feel like wearing it. I don't know if I'm voting for Trump, to be honest with you. Oh, Joe Jorgensen. Joe Jorgensen. The libertarian? Yeah, that's who I was talking about. Yeah. You can vote for her? Is it a girl? Yeah, she's female. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. You should look her up. Really cool candidate. I'm not voting for Biden either. He's freaking Looney Tunes. Oh my gosh. So, um, I'd rather vote so anyway, for, today, for tomorrow, Inslee than Biden. In, no, you're dumb. Inslee's a moron. I don't think so, bro. I, I don't know. That's you don't think Inslee's a moron? I, no, I think he's a moron. I just think, I think, I think, I don't know. I don't know. I don't You'd know. vote for Inslee over Biden. I'm writing in a candidate. I'm not voting know, for either. I don't know. That's not. So tomorrow is a crazy day here in the state of Washington. We have to wear masks in public everywhere. But I thought you said Lakewood isn't doing it. Lakewood's not going to enforce it. By the way, neither is Ording. Ording's not going to enforce it. There's a bunch of... Uh, by the way, neither is Lewis County. Good thing we the won't Lewis, be here. The Lewis County. Yeah, but I think we have to wear masks down in Oregon. I think what? masks are required. That's so dumb. Good thing yeah. in Oregon is there's no sales tax. No sales, no sales tax, which has nothing to do with anything we just talked about, but just, just saying. Yeah, we got to come up with some masks for the family for tomorrow. I have a mask. You have a mask? Yeah. Two, actually. I don't... Yeah, I hate the masks I have. They're dumb. They're annoying. How many of those American flag ones did you wear? Three. Three. But they're all for me. <laughs> they come in 9 o'clock tomorrow night. I was hoping they'd very come in. Very useful. They... Uh, very useful, yes. They're all for me. I want three so I can rotate and wash them. You're not stealing one of my masks. I'll order you three. You should order, like... A ton of them for the family. Yeah. Dude, I found a German one. German flag one I want to get. That's kind of cool. I need a German Norwegian flag. Oh, my gosh. I can edit you. I can make you one. <coughs> I can make a mix. Okay. No, in a mask? Yeah. Well, no. You'd have to find a website that would allow you to, to, to put a custom design on a mask. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Those are cheesy. It'd be surprise. expensive. Uh, not just that. It's cheesy. Yeah. All right. So that's all That's all we have for you tonight. Thanks for joining us. Um, Go Go donate because we need a new microphone now. <laughs> Goodness dang Hopefully it. he gets some exclusive content up there. I apologize. Oh, he's him the producer. Too. He's the producer. Him too. What am You're I the producer. To? Special content. Bro, I haven't even uploaded my own YouTube channel in like a month. Oh, my word. Dude, your hair is whack right Dude, now. Dude, it's bro. like greasy. It's so Not long. just greasy. It's so long. Yeah. I'm oh, gonna, my I'm word. Yeah. Anywho, this has been the coffee experience. My name's Dave. See you in the coffee shop. My name's Dave. See you in the coffee shop. See you in the coffee shop. Yep.